Ma'am, I'm understanding this, but uh, the table I can't understand. Mayna, are you there? Mom, Harshi says uh, this is what this is not uh, what he didn't understand. Like uh, he did you understand this, Harshi? Harshi, huh? which one do you have doubt? Ma'am, the table. Table, this one. No, ma'am. Which table? The table of earthworms. Yes, ma'am. That this table. This one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So in this, um, the friend, the first earthworm, the first picture of the earthworm, the front part of it is contracting, and the rest, um, the behind part of it is expanding. Always when an earthworm moves, it uh, some part of the earthworm contracts and the other relaxes, expands. So the here the front part is contracting. Then there is um, a movement in contraction, like front part, then a block leaving, and then uh, the other part. It's like while it's contracting and expanding, it's moving. It's moving in front. And you see the, in the, if you compare the front and the last picture, the first and the last picture, there is a movement. If you see if the lines which man drew, the last one is like more forward compared to the first one by contracting and expanding. That's all I have to, uh, I got to say. Did you understand Harshit? Harshit, did you understand or you have any doubt? Hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are Oh, Harshit went. Okay, Harshit is coming back. Yeah.
Ashish, did you understand whatever Neha told? Oh, you are not audible, Hashid. Mom is muted. Hashid, am I audible? Ashit, you are not audible. See what's happening, like how it will move, I'll show you a video so that you will understand. Here, yeah, like. Yeah, you can see that contraction and, uh, you know, this this rhythm, contraction and relaxation, that rhythm you can see, right? So that is how they move. They contract. When they contract, they move forward a bit. So see, from here to here, from here, it has moved this distance, right? This distance, it has moved. From here to here, it has moved. So this contraction. So when it contracts, it moves somewhat friend so that is what they are telling so when they first time contract this part of the body contracts and then this it little bit it moves to the a uh, back part and then back and then like this and then from here they have moved till here so like how they move because of this contraction movement <laughs> just in this video whatever it said same thing One second. Am I audible now? Oh, 
yeah i'm so sorry somebody uh, called me that's why i just uh, came in yeah so harshit did you understand yes ma'am ma'am can you hear me yeah yeah i can hear you so can did you understand this ma'am okay so before we were in the components of food right so i hope till now everything is clear yes ma'am yes ma'am ma'am can so as i told you today we'll start with the test okay so this test is very important take a small quantity of a food item or raw ingredient so can anybody read this test for start mom can i mom may i yeah yeah you can yeah okay take a small quantity of a food item or a raw veg ingredient put 2 to 3 drops of dilute iodine solution on it observe if there is any change in the color of the food item did it turn blue black a blue black a blue black color indicates that it contains starch yeah so you are taking a small quantity of a food item or a raw ingredient you are going to put 2 to 3 drops of dilute iodine solution on that okay so observe if there is any change in the color of the food item so did the did it turn blue or black so you are taking any food item for example you are taking a rice or you are taking a potato or you are taking any vegetable or anything and you are just adding 2 to 3 drops of dilute iodine solution so you are, you are just seeing any color changes there or not in the food item okay so if it is going to turn blue or black if a black color indicates that it contains starch so this is very important point so you may get the questions like uh, why it has turned blue or black so that time they will be asking you like why it is so in that time you should confirm that it is having the presence of starch a blue black color indicates that it contains a starch if that food item is going to turn into a blue or black color you can say as it is having a starch repeat this test with other food items to find out which of these contains starch and then you are going to enter your uh, observations here yeah we will come to this table later yeah test for protein yeah anyone else other than neha can read ma'am can i read yeah take a small quantity of a food item for testing if the food you want to test is a solid you first need to make a paste of it or powder it grind or mash a small quantity of the food item put some of these in a clean test tube add 10 drops of water to it and shake the test tube 
Now using a dropper, add two drops of solution of copper sulfate and ten drops of oil solute of caustic soda to the test tube. Shake well. Yeah. Shake well and let the test tube stand for a few minutes. What do you see? Uh, did the contents of the test tube turn violet? Violet color indicates presence of food item in proteins in the food item. Now you can repeat this test on other food items. Yeah. So test for protein. So again, now we have seen the test for starch and now test for protein. So I like we saw, right? We saw all the things. What is protein? What is starch? What is uh, sugar? What is a vitamin? Everything we saw. Now we will. We are testing it. We have to test whether the food item is uh, having that or not. So now we are testing for whether the food item is having protein or not. Take a small quantity of a food item for testing. Okay. If the food you want to test is a solid, you first need to make a paste of it or powder of it. So uh, as they are telling, like if it is a solid, you have to make the make it as a powder or paste. Grind or mash a small quantity of the food item. You have to grind or smash small quantity of food item. Put some of this in a clean test tube. Okay, and add 10 drops of water to it and shake the test tube. So, yeah, you're going to put this in the test tube and 10 drops of water you're going to add and just shake the test tube well so that this powder or the liquid will get somewhat diluted if you add water. Now, using a dropper, and you know what is a dropper? So, exactly, it looks like this dropper he's having in his hand. This is a test tube and this is a dropper, right? Yeah? Yes, yes ma'am. So now using the dropper, add 2 drops of solutions of copper sulfate and 10 drops of solutions of caustic soda to the test tube. See, what are the 2 things you are adding for the protein? The, see, mm -hmm. these are very important. For starch, you are going to add iodine. For protein, you are going to... Yeah, for protein, you are going to add 2 drops of copper sulfate. So copper sulfate, uh, uh, yeah, there is no pen. So, copper sulfate means it's basically CuSO4. You will be adding CuSO4. CuSO4. Iodine means I. And then, uh, you're going to add, you know, but one more important thing is how many, you are, how much you are going to add. You are going to add two drops of solutions of copper. Two drops. And you're going to take copper sulfate in the solution form. So, copper sulfate is basically a salt. Okay, it looks like a salt. It, it's a blue color salt. And but they are telling you have to add the copper sulfate as a solution, not as a salt. So if you want to add, uh, add as a solution, what can you do? You can make them. Uh, you can you can you have a. Mom, you can need the salt. Copper sulfate is a salt actually. Ma'am, caustic soda is uh, sodium. Uh, is sodium hydroxide. Caustic soda is, yeah, yeah. I, I'm telling like copper sulfate. Yeah, caustic soda also it's not a liquid. It is it also powdery form. So copper sulfate and caustic soda both are not liquids. But they are telling you to add them in a solution form. So it means you have to make them as a solution. They are solid but you have to make them as a liquid. So that point is very important. So questions can come like, uh, can you add copper sulfate as a powder form? You, you should you should first tell that you have to make it as solution and 10 drops of solution of caustic soda to the test tube shake well you are adding two things for testing the protein what are the two things copper sulfate caustic soda and uh, copper, copper sulfate yes you are going to add two things for starch what you, how much you are going to add dilute iodine dilute iodine correct correct Shake well and let the test tube stand for a few minutes. What do you see? Did the content of the test tube turn violet? A violet color indicates presence of protein in the food item. So this is the important part. So after adding, you have to shake them well and let the test tube stand for a few minutes. Okay, what do you see in that? Did the contents of the test tube turn violet? So it will turn violet before it turned black or blue in the starch. 
the test for protein it is going to turn into violet the violet color indicates the presence of proteins in the food item yes yes got it so the question may come like that so uh, we are uh, having a food item so i am adding some unknown solution to it so it turned into violet so whether it has protein it has starch it has uh, what else is there it has fat or uh, what else what are the other things it has like that the question can come so your answer should be like it has protein yeah the question can also come like I have an unknown unknown food. I have an unknown food item. Uh, I don't know whether it has what, like protein or starch. I don't know. But they have given you the test. So I am taking two drops of copper sulfate and 10 drops of caustic soda. I'm adding to the food item. But still, I could not see any color change. So what can you tell from this? It is not a protein. Mom, can you repeat? Uh, yeah, so I just asked question like, so the question is like, uh, I have an unknown food item. Okay, so I am adding uh, two drops of copper sulfate and 10 drops of caustic soda. But still there is no color change. So what can I tell in that case? I mean, so it, uh, no, it, uh, it, it, 10 drops of water, right, ma'am? Ma'am, we should add 10 drops of water, right? No, we are adding 10 drops of water, yeah. Mom, yeah. uh, that means the item no. Ma doesn't then contain it, protein. The meaning is that it does not uh, have, have protein. protein. It does not have protein, that's all. Yeah? Yes, Correct? Yes, yeah. ma'am. So see, this is a this is a very interesting table. Nutrients. So you, you understood the test for protein and test for starch? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yeah, now we'll see a video on that, okay? We'll see test for protein. Because we are online, we are an online class, so like we, we cannot, I cannot show you much things in the laboratory. So better if you see your biore test, no, not this test for protein with copper sulfate. So that is. I hope you can hear the sound. Yes, ma'am. So can you see the copper sulfate looks blue? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Sodium hydroxide is nothing but the caustic soda, as uh, Harshan told. Yeah? Mom, is the copper sulfate in liquid form? Yeah, copper sulfate in liquid form. Actually, copper sulfate is a, it's actually salt. Okay. See, it's a blue color salt, actually. It's a salt. Inorganic sulfur with copper, it's a salt, actually. But this salt has been like uh, made into solution. Maybe they would have added some water and made the solution. Yeah. And can they heat it and make it as liquid? What? What? Can they heat it and make it as liquid? Uh, you can heat it and make it as liquid, but they have given a solution. No, right? Mm -hmm. So they have not said copper sulfate in liquid form. So there is a difference between two things. They have not said, said copper sulfate in liquid form. If they have said like that, you can you have some melting point for copper sulfate and if you heat them, it may change to liquid. But they told copper sulfate solution. So yes. that is why I am thinking it should be water, obviously. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Ma'am, we can't hear the sound. What, what? We can't hear the sound. You can't hear the sound? No, no. Protein test. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, it's glitching. Ma'am, the sound is glitching. 
Okay, one second. Ingredients we need copper sulfate, sodium hydroxide, and egg white. First, I'm going to put these solutions into test tubes. Egg white, sodium hydroxide, copper sulfate. Now I'm going to add sodium hydroxide to the egg white. Now I'm is going clear? to add. The video is clear or what? Mom, the video is clear, but in the middle, the voice is glitching. Hmm. It's a little bit like glitching, Mom. Heavy flow mattress leakage but free tension. Any no tension. One the better whisper and number one hygiene with comfort. Even three smart layer gal heavy flow will lock say gal. Adu saathar na pad gal evidan better aga. Any leakage but free tension illai hygiene comfort matu me. Whisper ultra win siren the heavy flow protection. Ippu the varum sixty rupees il. Can you see Neha? Like you ask me the sort of doubt. They're adding water to make it solution. Yeah. Yes. Ma'am. Ma'am, what? Uh, what testing they are doing? Protein or starch? Protein, 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 right? You can say the copper sulfate here, so you should not ask me this question. <laughs> CuSO4 means copper sulfate. Yeah. So first they have taken sodium hydroxide. They have added water to it to make it a solution. And again, they have taken copper sulfate. Now they are taking and again, they are adding water to make it solution, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, so both of them are solid? Yeah, both are. Yeah, yeah. Okay.
got like it was not that much uh, dark it was color. blue and black yeah but see the egg white it has it has turned completely to violet like full violet color dark violet color mom because so, it has protein yeah rich in protein more than even milk right yes mom so the density of so that is why i that is the motive of showing this video the density of protein presence presence of protein in the different food items so that is that is why i, I was about to ask so if you take uh, any food item that is having a little amount of protein based on the amount of protein you have in the food the color change will happen okay yes. so if the protein amount is very less so you will see very light bluish or yellowish sorry purplish color but like egg white kind of rich very rich in protein substance you can say dark violet yeah so based on the color consistency sorry density of the color you can say uh, what is the percentage of protein they have yeah so means that they roughly you can say how much it is having yeah yes ma'am ma'am so egg white contains most proteins yeah you can you can you can tell like that i'm saying you can tell like egg white contains lot of protein than even milk we will, we will research about that we will now see in the google wait okay. so can you see the difference so see have they have given uh, compare the color changes observed in the each sample deep violet color indicates the presence of protein whereas the prevailing blue color of copper sulfate indicates the absence of protein in the salt they are trying to tell in the salt like second one is salt in salt there is no protein you have only sodium right yes ma'am there is no yes, purple color in the second one if you say there is no purple color so you can tell that they they don't have any presence of protein yeah yes But in the milk, you can say that protein content is there. Protein, we'll see protein, protein content, milk. So you have three point four grams of protein in milk. So if you want to see in egg, thirteen gram. Can you see the difference? Where is three point four and where is thirteen? Right? Yes. I'm um, going to see egg white, egg white, egg white one. Eleven. Only in the egg white you have eleven. Yeah. Hundred grams. You see in milk. Hundred grams for the same hundred grams you have only three point four, but whereas in egg white you have eleven grams for the same hundred grams, correct? So can you now can I tell based on the color I can say whether the protein content is high or not? I can say right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That is the point. That is the point of having this, uh, you know, experiment. Okay, fine. So yeah, that is test for protein. Now test for starch. The test for starch will we'll see it tomorrow. Okay. Mom, it's fat. Mom, we already saw it. Mom, next is test for fat. Yeah, yeah, fat only. I am also telling about fat only. It's easy, ma'am. Yeah, it's very easy. We'll see video also for that. We'll see video of Mom, test starch. Mom, now. we don't need uh, like copper sulfate, uh, caustic soda, dilute solution of iodine. We just need uh, like. A one uh, wedge, one uh, item, and a uh, paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy. Actually, all the tests are easy only. Just watch this video. What should be the result? It should have a uh, blue or black color. So for rice, it says changing to blue color, right? Yes, ma'am. For bread also. But for banana, it should be blue. What is? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
so tomorrow your homework will be like complete the table i'll share you the table in the group you will complete that table yeah okay ma'am yes. yes. homework ma'am yeah hello yes ma'am yeah i have sent the yeah please the recordings and before works okay yeah harshit and adya okay ma'am ma'am yeah, okay. uh, we should yeah. dissolve in water we can dissolve yeah, in water also we should dissolve only in water okay ma'am yeah you. yeah